a Dear Media original podcast. Hi, welcome to Good Instincts. I'm Shira Barlow, but you may know me as the food therapist. Join me every Monday through Friday for bite-sized episodes designed to help you close the gap between where you are right now and where you want to go. This should feel good, like really good. And it will, I promise. So today I wanted to share a story about a client of mine who kind of has an interesting story that I think can be applicable. She was in her early 30s and she had never really prepared food ever. And the reason why is that she's an actual princess from the Middle East and she had grown up with chefs preparing all her meals. And she had genuinely gone nowhere near a kitchen her entire life. She actually didn't know how to boil water. And she came to me and she was looking to have a healthier relationship with food. And she also wanted to feel stronger and a bit leaner in her body. We started talking about it and we realized that because of the way that she grew up, she was really detached from food because she had never prepared food or really interacted with raw food, she didn't really know what she craved and what she wanted. And so when she came to LA, she would order like this crispy rice sushi every day for Postmates and she really wasn't feeling great. The thing is, is that she obviously had all the resources to order whatever she wanted, but she genuinely didn't know what she wanted. We realized that what she craved was something really homey. The chefs at home that used to cook for her would make these really elaborate dishes. What she really wanted was a really pared down situation without all the bells and whistles. And I really, really related to that. And so we started talking more and about how she could get more of a connection to food. We started by actually cooking together a little bit. And the goal was to figure out some of her greatest hits. I really believe in this, having a couple things, ideally three things that you feel so confident making that you could rotate through. And ideally, they're not things that take a ton of time, although, you know, it's nice to have one thing if you want and you have time for that can be slow roasted or slow cooked, but to have three greatest hits that you could rotate through and you could rotate through again and again. And you could also order and mix in ordered things, but to feel like you have three things that you know are slam dunks is really amazing. The other thing was that in order to do that, she would have to feel really comfortable being like the ultimate beginner. The thing I thought was really sweet was that she really embraced that. Like she really wanted to learn everything and be a sponge and she didn't know how to hold a knife or really do anything in the kitchen, but she super embraced that. And I thought there was something really beautiful in that. I think so many of us want to not be a beginner and have everything figured out all the time. And I think that to be able to let yourself not have any ego in the game and just be like, I don't know how to do this, but let me figure it out is so, so special. And she really owned that. I think a lot of people wish that they grew up with a private chef or they had a private chef now. And I totally hear that. But I do think there's something to be said for having these simple homey meals that are tasty that you know how to make, especially if there's disconnect around food. And I think there's something really amazing. And we've talked about this before about focusing on one thing at a time, like chopping vegetables or stirring or sauteing. We've talked about how grounding that can be and to be using your hands in this way with busy hands. So if you're ever feeling detached from food or you don't really have much of a cooking practice at home, it is never too late to learn. And I think it's really cool to let yourself be a beginner. And I think there's a ton of beauty in that. And also, even if you do know how to cook, I think there's something really, really wonderful about figuring out what your greatest hits are so that you can have comforting things that you know are slam dunks, ideally three that you feel really confident making that you can rotate through. And I would love to know what those are for you. 
I love hearing from you. If you have any you want to share, send me a note in the DMs at Shira underscore RD. It's always my favorite when I get to hear about people's recipes because a lot of times I'll incorporate them in my own cooking as well. Tomorrow, we're going to be talking about a topic I feel extremely passionate about. It's oral hygiene. It's something I think is often overlooked, but it is so important for overall health. I cannot wait. I'll see you there. Thank you so much for listening to Good Instincts, hosted and written by me, Shira Barlow. You can find me on Instagram at Shira underscore RD. Good Instincts is a Dear Media Daily, 